Chapter 3. I hurried into the kitchen and saw Mom bent over, picking pieces of china off the floor. I can't believe I dropped that plate, she said, shaking her head. Mom has short, dark brown hair with a streak of white in the front. She is small and skinny and totally high energy. And she's kind of pretty, except her black-framed glasses make her look like a philosophy professor or something. She's always in a hurry, and she always drops things. And then she says, I can't believe I dropped that. Maybe you're nervous about Ethan, I said, bending to pick up a jagged piece of china. I know I am. Hey, she pinched my cheek. I don't think she meant to hurt me, but she pinched too hard. I'm the only person in the world she pinches. I don't really get it. Good attitude, remember? She said. Good attitude at all times. You promised. I had my fingers crossed, I said. How could I have a good attitude? The last time Ethan visited, we got into an actual fist fight. Can you imagine? Quiet little Brittany Crosby giving her cousin a bloody nose and making him cry in front of all her friends. That's not like me at all. But he just makes me crazy. Give Ethan a chance, Mom said, brushing off the front of her jeans. She wears tight designer jeans, and she looks pretty good in them. She's so small we can almost share clothes. Weird. He's had a lot of problems, Mom said, and now his parents have left him for who knows how long. He's not bad. He just acts out because he's lonely. Yeah, right. I heard a car door slam, then Dad's voice in the garage. They're here, Mom said. Remember, Brittany, you've got to be the grown-up in this situation. Get off to a good start with Ethan, and everything will be fine. I'm going to try, really, I said, and I meant it. The door from the garage swung open. Dad stepped into the kitchen, carrying Ethan's two suitcases. Our new family member has arrived, he said. Ethan came bouncing in behind him, a big grin on his face. Ethan looks like a sweet little boy. He is short and pale and very blonde. He has bright blue eyes and a cute, pointed little chin. He wore a gray hoodie over baggy jeans. And what was that thing slumped over his shoulder? I squinted at it. A grinning ventriloquist dummy. Hi, Aunt Roz, Ethan said. Mom shook a finger at the dummy. Ethan, what is that? He pulled the dummy off his shoulder and held it up. It had an ugly face with painted blue eyes, a chipped lower lip, and an awful grin. This is Mr. Bad Boy, Ethan said. Mr. Bad Boy is my best friend. Totally pitiful, I thought. But I put a smile on my face and said, Hey, Ethan. Ethan came running over to me, holding the dummy in front of him. Mr. Bad Boy, he said. Say hi to my cousin, Brittany. I saw it coming. The dummy's wooden hand swung up fast, then came down hard and clunk, slammed me in the forehead.